And we're back with some more RimWorld. And right now we're up to about 150 plus pawns. And we're about to be attacked by a small raid of humans. We've got 18 over the side and 26 over the side. They're sappers, they're tribals, they're... Why? I don't know. I think it's because we keep losing people. Enough of our people die that uh, Randy kind of takes pity on us. Which, I don't know why. You know what, let's, uh, let's put that crowd back there. I'm pretty sure they're going to try and break through somewhere down here. And where are you going? Okay, they are not going at all where they thought they were going. We'll get this squad and we'll bring them... You know what? Let's bring them over here. We can bring a, a nice squad into the middle. There's no point going too crazy here. We have such overwhelming amounts of firepower. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take them out without too much difficulty. No famous last words. I'm not saying someone will die. It's just uh, not enough people that it will be a problem. Oh god. Uh, they're hitting a little bit faster than I was expecting. So group two... Gonna have you pull back a little bit further there. There you go. You got enough machine guns that you should be able to mincemeat them. And over here, how are we looking? Christ, okay, you're taking your time going through that wall. I understand. <laughs> uh, let's get... Oh, yeah, I think this fight's about to kick off. Yeah, someone got in range. Another one's getting in range. Done. Colonist needs rescue. What happened? Lieutenant Shepard, you got left leg. Oh wait, sorry, right leg got hit and your left leg. Reduced your movement? Wait, why are you unconscious again? Oh, never mind, serious pain, whatever. Ah, maybe you're a wimp. Ah, that's it, a wimp. Never mind, that would explain it. Okay, with that done, we'll let everyone there back to work. In fact, that entire group can go back to work. We will undraft a lot of you. With them all going back to work, we can check over here and see how they're doing. They are drilling through that part of the wall. Hmm. Do we want to just stay on the other side and riddle them, or do we want to, like, wait to the side and shoot them? Uh, let's split our forces one each side. There we go. And we'll have that pawn slot in there. You, you can come up and join them here. The moment they open that up, we'll go in and get them. Oh, Is there prisoners alive? I think there's a couple still alive here. What's your health at? Seven hours, and you're at three hours. Uh, guys, yeah, capture that one, and I want you to capture that one. I mean, more the merrier, right? We're here for the prisoners. Over here, let's hope we get a few prisoners as well. Marble walls at 11%. Come on in and... Oh, yep, you're dead. Jesus. Okay, that's what you call a crossfire, I believe. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hey, one of them is still alive. Maybe we get ourselves another uh, another prisoner here. What do we got? Three hours? Oh, you're probably gonna, not going to make it. We will have our fastest pawn bring them uh, bring them back, and hopefully that can save them. And in the meantime, let's see if we can't shoot a few of them down before they... No, they're they're gone. There's no way we're going to be able to even get a shot off, I think. Yeah, we got one. Come on. One more prisoner. That was sort of pathetic. Eh, fine, fine. That worked out. Okay, I, I will have to call that a solid defense. Let everyone back to work. We are just building in our new power brick over here when Emily has sh Emily's exes has shown up again. Uh, they are doing a siege and they're dropping down over here. Which means they're going to have to find some place to siege up at. Oh my god, is that all there is? 36 drop pods? This, this feels kind of insulting. It's because we've just... I think when you go to this many pawns, it just breaks the game. It, it can't handle it. Uh, all snipers. Oh, wow. Okay. We will uh, make a few changes here just to make sure our animals and people don't go near there, and then we'll let them uh, set up their siege wherever they want, and when they do, we'll shell them with mortars. Looks like they've set up their little location over here. Ooh, survival meals. Yes, we'll take those too. Oh, cloth. Yeah, damn it. We're using it all on sandbags. It's fine, we can demolish the sandbag later for the cloth. We actually want it. Uh, we have two mortars down here. Where are they? Uh, yeah, over here. I still haven't built that mortar barrage. Considering the patch notes for 1.3, I should probably build a giant mortar array in this game because I might never see it again in the later versions. We'll have to buy barrels, which will make things much more confusing. And... Eh. They're assaulting. Perfect. That was enough, guys. Seriously, two mortar shots? That's all it took? Legend. Okay, you two can... There you prioritize work. And we will... Oh. Stop force target and actually get them to hold fire as well. Uh, yeah, just for the next round. All right, time to warm up our oven. 
Yeah, we're going to want to have uh, all of them in here so that we can capture them. How many prison beds do we have? I think we've got about enough. 100. 104. Actually, no, wait. 103. That one's uh, an extra. You, we can install over there. <laughs> this is going to be uh, interesting. Uh, one second while we uh, spark this sucker up. We've started the oven up. Uh, unfortunately, there's some Empire troops out here. They're going to get killed or they're going to kill some of the people we want to capture, but that's fine. Uh, Dark's already... What are you doing, Dark? Okay, Dark has already done that. I want you to... Okay, you can't put those back in because it's outside of the zone. Right, oven started. Temperatures... Ooh, temperature's actually pretty low considering the time of... De... Yeah, it's the time of year, so it's only at zero degrees. That's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, eight, ten... Well, uh, it's slowly up. Well, they're busy murdering the Empire's troops, who are... I suppose they're doing okay, but they're going up against snipers, so... Yeah, that's not going to go well for you. Don't... Do not open those doors. Do not even think about it. If you open those doors and let those people in, I will... Mm. Yeah, there's not much I can do, is there? <laughs> I've got all of our colonists to stay inside. They should uh, do their best to wander right in here and get cooked. We're already up to 48, 49, 51. Yeah, this should be grand. Now, I've decreased the size of our wick. Um, I used to have one extra piece of barricade in there, but I'm trying to decrease it by one to hopefully not get it so hot that we burn them all. If we don't burn them, there won't be as many to, uh, well, cure afterwards. Don't leave. The moment they leave, that means all these will turn around and start going back out again. Oh, come on. Yep, that's going to cause a problem. But never mind, never mind. Hopefully we'll at least get some new recruits out of this. Here comes our first potential new recruit, and unfortunately, they're not going down. They've got, uh, these early ones all have drugs in them, so they're just not going down to the heat stroke. The heat stroke is not getting far enough. Some of the later ones are finally starting to hit that point where they're slowing down enough. Their movement speed has been drastically reduced by the heat stroke, which makes it even harder for them to get further, which means they're more likely to stroke out before they get to the end of the tunnel. Ah, that one's already down, though I think that was a combination of injuries and a few other things. Let's hope, let's just hope we get a few more people for our, uh, for our prison cells. There we go. Okay, they've all broken, so they're going to start retreating out the back way. Hmm. Time to get everyone in here. We want to try and capture as many as we can, as quickly as we can. None of the ones we shot out front, so unfortunately we've gone down a bunch. Hopefully we can still get a few. There's, what, 31 of them still alive? Maybe we can get 25 out of this if we're lucky. Today? Today was a good day. Prisoner-wise, we've got, what, 29 of them in here? We've gone up to 33 prisoners. I think we had about, oh, I want to say four, so we got captured about 29. That is a good, good day. We've even stripped them all off, and we're now dragging away their flak vests. They can keep everything else, but I want the flak vests. Flak vests just take them long. It makes it harder to knock them down when they have them on. This, this was very, very tasty. There was one change I made here, which was I reduced this, the amount of barricades in here, by one. This, and, okay, it's cold because we're in the middle of, uh, December-y. december -y? Whatever. What this meant was, none of them got burned. As in, they got a heat stroke, but they didn't get a bunch of minor burns. They didn't get hot enough in the tunnel, or in the oven, for them to actually get any small burns. We didn't burn through a whole bunch of medicine. The only ones that are injured are ones that got shot by... Uh, the Empire troops before they went in, or they got hit by the mortar. This one got actually hit by the mortar fire. What is this? Impact damage. Yeah, whatever. No problems with actual scars. If, well, burning and burnt eyeballs and stuff like that. We didn't burn through a whole ton of medicine either. We just captured them and stuck them in there. This is excellent. If we can capture like about 50 or 60 more pawns this way, this will go a long way towards solving our problems. Though I should probably start making some more food right about now, shouldn't I? Things were going so well! Now we have a prison break to contend with. Uh, rather large prison break of about 25 humans. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. This is sort of what we were expecting. And by expecting, I mean... There wasn't really much we could do about it. As well as that, the way I figured, there's got to be some sort of cooldown on how long before they can prison break again. So this should reset everyone's counter. Meaning, what, we should get another 20 days with no one trying anything? We're just going to have all our people... There you go. Not rations? Maybe we should get you out of there. I don't know what you were thinking getting involved. Problem is, I don't want to change all the animal areas because that would actually be an annoyance. Yeah, there goes a prisoner. You know what? There's going to be a lot of dead prisoners. <sighs> God damn it. 
You're actively fleeing. Why are you fleeing towards the enemies, you muppet? Uh, one second while I move some more animals. I have sent all the bonded animals over to uh, one area. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think they can get out of it. They're trapped in combat. Ah, God damn it. Hurtle has been shot to death. Well, yeah, there goes another dog. Ow, ow, shot, shot. <laughs> it really does feel like the animals are just sort of running in there to get shot. Yep, zero attacky Renatas. One moment. Just had to get those pawns out of the hallway so they don't get shot. Okay. Now, let's see. Do any of the animals want to go in there now? Do, do any of you want to come into the corridor now that the shooting is over? No? No, you're... Okay, Donkey 22, where are you going? Oh, you're fleeing. Muppets. <laughs> oh my god, how many bonded animals did we lose? Yeah, that's one bonded animal. Oh, you know what? Who cares? Who cares? We'll see how many prisoners survived. Okay, that's nine human corpses. So nine of the prisoners did not survive. We'll see how many of the prisoners... Oh, god. Uh, beatings will continue until morale improves. I love the way at no point any of the prisoners thought, hey, this is a bad idea. It seems like they've got machine guns and they're waiting in a narrow corridor for us and we're about to get riddled with bullets while we're busy fighting off dogs and donkeys. But hey, you know, you gotta love these pawns. They'll, uh, they'll make wonderful recruits. They will fit right in with the rest of the team. The hard thing to get across while playing at this sort of scale is just how much stuff happens all the time, meaning you don't get anything really done. Uh, my point being... It's now the 11th of December, whatever here. We started on the 7th. That's when this episode kicked off. Since the 7th, which is, what, four days ago? And you've got to remember, it's the first hour of the fourth day. Since then, we've had a raid that consisted of uh, split sappers. We then had a pirate drop that was a siege. We then cooked up a whole bunch of recruits. We've had a prison break involving, whatever, 30 prisoners or so trying to break out. And now we've got, oh, a couple of diseases, of course. Now we've got a bunch of bugs. Mm, you know what? Let's uh, let's get some focused fire going on on some of these. It just uh, it makes it just 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 to ensure that none of those big bugs get too close. Can never be too sure. Alex, oh, you've got some stuff going on. You know what? Berserk that one there. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. That was painless. Well, actually, not quite. Try Phoenix has uh, taken a little bit of a bite. You'll be fine. Walk it off. But, as I was saying, it does make for an interesting playthrough when you're just expecting this stuff to happen constantly. You can't really sit around to do a big project, you know, something that will take a, a few days. You just don't have time to do that. You're constantly doing stuff. I mean, I know we're always out of steel, but think of the amount of steel we're spending. We, we started this at the, at, the start, at the start of this episode, and that's, what, less than four days ago? And the amount of steel we have spent is just ridiculous. <laughs> The amount of components we've spent is ridiculous as well. Uh, how's our components looking? 179. I played for a few hours yesterday, so this is sort of my second day. <laughs> and it's just the amount of stuff that gets thrown at you. It takes forever to get anything done. Oh, and uh, guys, all of that bug meat can be turned into fine meals. Saves us a little bit on our food production. Though I think, I think our food production is well covered. We've got stuff lying in the fields that we haven't even taken in yet. No rush. How's our, how's our medicine looking? 637. That's... I won't say it's a lot, but it's enough to keep us going. Now, the question is, do they break again really soon? Now, they take, made their first break on the 10th of December. If it's 15 days before they break again, then I can live with that. One big, massive break every 15 days? Yes, that means we can recruit all of them in about, you know, a 30, 45 day period. You deal with three prison breaks, you're done. It's just only if they keep breaking once every two or three days that it's going to become a problem. We'll find out, I suppose. We're coming up on the end of the day, and I thought I'd just cover some of the stuff we got covered in that day, barring dealing with that insect thing at the start. We took care of about everything in here. We built all of that today. Or was it that much? I can't remember. We built a whole bunch of this today, which is kind of crazy. You have to take into account how much steel and components go into that. We're still mining steel at an incredible rate. Where is it? We've got our steel people here mining away. In fact, one of our drills ran out over here. Uh, we're also mining over here from these drills pretty much constantly. So it's not like we're being lax about getting steel or components or marble or any of that stuff. It's just we spend it so fast constructing stuff. you got to imagine this is only one day and we still had to deal with a couple of war revenges. Someone got the plague. We got an inspired taming we haven't used again. Oh, a plague. Caravan arrived. Oh, actually, which reminds me we should send out another caravan. How are we looking on the quest map? We got two more lumps of compacted machinery we should go out and get our hands on. 
In fact, where did we put those donkeys? Are they both inspect? We will let those donkeys go back to doing what they were doing. At the same time as all that's going on, we're still trying to use our uh, our trust casters. I think one of them should be charged up about now. One of them charge. Two of them actually have a charge. Ooh, three. So we're going to use uh, those three spells to break down even more people. A little bit of moving around. They'll uh, hopefully all three of them will apply it. The problem is you can't apply it while they're asleep, and I don't. I don't wake people up to use it. I let them use it when they wake up. So sometimes the prisoners have gone to sleep before they get there. You don't get a warning of that. Uh, someone got to go, friends. We've actually got two inspired recruitments we haven't used yet. I'm just waiting until you know, they're healed up more. The problem is all of them are so badly injured, I don't want to get involved in that. We had a corpse obsession because, of course, we did. We, we took care of that one. Someone got to shoot frenzy, uh, an infection in a couple of the prisoners after they get shot. We also traded with an exotic goods trader. And why did we get Jade? We shouldn't have got Jade. Okay, I think that's there from something else. We got a Insanity Lance, some silver, uh, the Psychic Sooth Pulsers, a few other bits and bobs, nothing major. Someone got an infection, and there's the two deep infestation that started this all off. And it looks like someone bonded with a pet. Okay, we'll sort you out. So Zombie Pops bonded with a polar bear. Our little baby polar bear. Okay. Nice job, sir. Six colonists are idle, namely because they can't do uh, grunt work, which is kind of annoying. Otherwise, they could carry all of this corn that's all over the place. You end up with so many people who can't do grunt work, it's amazing. For example, uh, where is this? Uh, yeah, everyone here is working these benches. If there's any marble slat chunks around, marble chunks just evaporate. We've also installed a bunch of electric smelters to take care of this smelting of things, though I think a few recurve bows need to go. By and large, the place is just a hive of activity, chugging along at about 9 frames per second. Yeah, just the way things are. And Mila, what's wrong with you? It's just a, a constant barrage of things you have to take care, with, take care of as quickly as possible, and you're dead. The problem we face here is they're at 65% of immunity out of 78. They're probably going to die of that, and it's on the torso. If it was a limb, we could amputate it, but you can't really amputate a torso, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. We'll, maybe medical science will have advanced that far. We can't even get them off the map because they're moving only 37%. The moment we kick them at the door, they, they won't be able to get to the edge of the map before they die. Best bet, we'll give them the best medicine we possibly have, and we'll get JV in here to tend to them. Namely because their medicine right now is through the roof. They're on 102% surgery success chance. It's about the same as medical tent. Those two uh, uh, correlate, and the reason they're so good, fibrous mechanites. Even though their consciousness is reduced, the extra manipulation is counteracting it and giving them 113% tend quality. Right, 113% tin quality, I'm going to call that a uh, a good job. That'll last for 16 hours, let's see if this pawn lives. Mila looks like she might actually survive, that tin was, well, pretty damn clutch. However, there is one thing we have to deal with first, and that is another two deep infestation. And yes, it's only been a day or two since the last one. We do a lot of mining. Oh, no, you want to go over there, yes, yes. We'll, we'll take care of this too sweet. It should just be a case of gunning down everything that shows up. Of course, the dogs want to uh, get involved, but that's fine. The dogs want to get involved. That's just A-OK -okay by me. They can get themselves shot by being idi- Oh, damn it. Okay, this is just my bad. And off you go again. Yeah, that's a bit of, it's a pity about the Labrador Retriever, but it, it, it made its own bed right there. And... Done. <laughs> These things are actually just, they're, they're mild annoyances at this point. You get so used to them and you have so many pawns that these things just don't even count. I didn't realize they could happen so quickly though. That's only been, what, two days since the last one? Or, yeah, it's almost nothing. Mila came out of this really well. That one tend was absolutely clutch. I, I've turned off medical tending. I don't want anyone overwriting the 113 medical tend. She should be free and clear in just a moment and then we can switch her back to normal. There we go. It have just been annoying to get a negative from a prisoner death. Now, one thing, let's just check on the numbers mod here for our prisoners. Yeah, we've got all of them injured, basically, except for Blip, the rancher. Desky has decided to throw a party. This should be an interesting collection, up to 58. How long before one of them starts throwing a punch? You have to imagine a whole bunch of them have are, are mutilated, as in they've lost noses, or they're basically ugly or whatever. There's going to be some people who insult each other. There is no way around that. Oof, I could feel the game chug when all of them decided to leave. That was a lot of thinking that went on. And of course, there's just a couple of people left behind to sweep up all the trash. Every party, every party, there's always that people left behind cleaning up. Anyway, I am going to use all of our inspirations to recruit a few people. I think we've got three recruitment inspirations going along. 
before I can finish off on all of this recruitment, there's another thing that's done. This, this has been done for a while now and I need to take advantage of it. This will allow us to run, what, 28 more sun lamps. So, over here we have... No, well, not 24. Uh, we have about 16. 8 here and 8 here, so we have 16 sun lamps. We just have to get rid of a few things and wall them in. For example, there's all these moisture pumps here that we've had going for quite some time. They're not finished there. There's a couple of spots left. I think that's mud. And there's not finished there. There's one spot left. But I think uh, these three here can go and these two over here can go, giving us a, a nice area to build into. Also, we're going to have to put in some walls to protect this whole area. We don't want our, you know, enemies just wandering in. If they drop inside, they can destroy that crop area, but not the surrounding ones. Well, we finish out this new crop section. Dear Lord. It's amazing to think how much you can get done with this size of a crew. But uh, while we finish that off, it's time to do a little bit of a naming ceremony, I think. Uh, what are we up to at the moment? Wow, prisoners. We're down to 11 prisoners. And colonist-wise, we're up to... 171. Okay, we'll, we'll give you a naming for at least 10 of them because the rest that are injured, we're worried about them having some mental breaks and maybe, you know, getting beat down and killed. Hate to have someone just join us and then get killed by their own people because of a mental break because they just recovered from being prisoners. So, let's, uh, let's start this. Our first new recruit at 151 is Poitres. Poitres? Poitres. Damn yous. Okay, it, mining and building they will be going straight into because, well, they're excellent at mining. We always need more miners and building because you can never have enough builders. We could also do it more planters, cookers, and lots of other things, but they're an undergrounder, jogger, and only a minor health condition, which is a scar in their pinky. I'm not even sure, like, how much that reduces their... Wow, that's actually a 4% efficiency decrease on their manipulation. How? How is that? Never mind. Welcome to the team. 152, we've got Jeff Peterson. Mining and animals because, like I said, we can't get enough miners and we don't need any more artists or intellectuals. Slow learner and tough. The slow learner is absolutely crippling. Slows down global learning by so much, learning so much. It's just incredible. Actually, let me give you an example in a second. Also incredibly tough, which is very handy. If they were a melee, melee fighter, they'd be great. Scar on their left lung, but otherwise a solid bond. They'll do well at mining, though they will level up slower than a lot. A quick show of why slow learner is so bad. I like rocks has slow learner, and their shooting skill is still at four. I would like to point out they're in hunting. They're in hunting just like everyone else in this uh, colony as well, which means everyone who has below 10 hunting skill or below 10 shooting skill is put into hunting until they hit 10. They are the... They are the pawn that has been with us the longest that has still not managed to get up to 10 shooting. Their shooting skill is just appalling because they have no passion for it and they're a slow learner. I think they get five experience for every shot they take. That's how weak sauce they are. Please welcome 153 Little Code Farmer. Mining and plants. Namely because, yeah, we just there's a lot of miners going on around here, namely because they're doing anything that's worthwhile and plants is a secondary. Animals we've got, oh, honestly we have so many people with, uh, with animals. Uh, permanent injury to the right eye, they got shot by one of our people, a drill arm already has been installed and their lung has been destroyed. Not exactly the best pawn we're going to have, but you know, more miners the better. 154 J Roop, animals and cleaning. Namely because that's, well, we don't want artistic that's pretty much all they've got going for them. We, we've actually hit this kind of block of pawns that have very little skills going for them. So animal and cleaning, great memory, nimble. They'll get really good at animals, I suppose. Uh, right eye scar, torso scar, and left toe shot off. Yeah, lots of scars going around on these, these pawns. 155 Samuel Tess, mining and building. Look at that, double passion in mining. That's exactly what we want. Ooh, I should really give them... Oh man, neck stab scar, that's really gonna hurt. Oh, yeah, left, oh, right leg shut off. I should probably fix that. We are still installing peg legs. We're, we're not stopping for anything. Every single piece of our focus is on uh, increasing our, our capacity to hold more colonists. So we're not even investing components into artificial limbs. No, tough. All of that stuff goes into solar, wind, farming, everything else. Uh, uh, but mining, they're actually a really solid pawn, though, with all of those skills. But unfortunately, we can't really take full advantage of them. But... Once we do get a few bionics on them, they'll make a good pawn. 156, we have sexy, because planting and crafting, nothing sexier, of course. Also, they've got nimble and tough, which should make them actually, ooh, to pity they are not a brawler, that would make them even better. But as it is, they'd make an excellent brawler. Damn, maybe we should. Nope, 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 we have a plan. Anyway, uh, their uh, health conditions are, they've got a field hand already because, well, yeah, the more planters we've got, the better. And asthma in both lungs, which we can't cure because we can't harvest prisoners because we keep recruiting them. Solid pawn. 157, Nyx Tempest. 
planting and cooking. Uh, yeah, obviously the planting. We, we always need more planters all the time. A nimble abrasive night owl. Yeah, that sounds not the worst. Health-wise, left leg is destroyed and I have not replaced that, have I? In my defense, it's been really busy. There's a lot of stuff going on all the time and it's just, you know, the odd missing limb sort of slips by you. Anyway, welcome to the team, Chief. We'll, we'll have you hopping along in no time. 158, we have Yunners. They will be just doing scanning. That's that's literally it. This is, oh my god, this is such a weird pawn. Well, Yunners, uh, you don't have any skills we want because artistic, we, we already have enough artists, plus you're not as good as some of the better artists we have anyway because they have double burning passion and something that helps it. Uh, intellectual, really only good for scanning, so that's what we're going to stick you on. You can't do dumb labor, which means we can't even put you on cleaning. You can't do firefighting because you're a pyromaniac and you're an ascetic nudist. Which, like, actually, that, those two kind of work together. So you can't be very happy, it's just the only thing you can do is scan stuff. You can't even clean the floors. And for health conditions, your right kidney is destroyed, and you have damage to your heart, which has reduced your consciousness, moving, manipulation, talking. Yep, not, not great. Not gonna lie, this pawn is probably not one of the best. Sorry, Yunners. 159, Cat Girl Diogenes. Crafting and scanning. Um, there wasn't really much we could do here with the with the abilities they had going for them, so crafting and scanning just became the default. There'll also be a warden, of course, because of that. They're a warden who's a psychopathic brawler, which means I think they will fit in just fine. Another person who can't do dumb labor, can't do planting, can't do mining, which are three things we're desperately crying out for. Kind of unfortunate. But uh, where's it? Yeah, health conditions, only a frostbite scar on the left toe, making 97%. However, I did notice their son is dead, and that led me to the weird conclusion that they're the mother of Pika Mula, and that the daughter-in-law, or, or that their daughter-in-law is Leetie Doyle. I kind of want to go pick that apart. Also, their son is dead, and I think that happened, what, uh, six days ago. So it's only been six days since that uh, pirate raid happened. Or maybe it was the sapper one with the tribals. I don't know. One or the other. Anyway, welcome to the team. My best bet for 161 is Marcy Mao. Marcy Mao? Uh, that, that, it's, it's all I got, I'm sorry. Uh, mining and planting, more miners, more planters. Uh, can't put them in cooking because they don't have enough to start with. It, and plus, I'm going to give them a mining arm. We just need more and more miners. Undergrounder, fast walking, and industrious. Industrious mining is just incredible. Uh, especially when you combine that with drill arms. But you, you, they get into that later. Uh, bionic ear. Stab scar in their right leg and their left pinky, so they're a little bit slow, but, you know, it's fine. They're fast walkers, so they'll counteract some of it. Welcome to the team. You're going to make an absolutely spectacular miner. One thing I was trying to get across today was just how quickly things are moving right now. It just, it feels almost like they're moving slow. You have this weird time dilation effect. It feels like I got an awful lot done today, and it feels like a lot of time has passed, but at the same time it doesn't. It's, it's only been, what, six days, eight hours in game time? And we managed to build all of this. We put in this entire bower brick. This is more power than most bases would ever build in their entire playthroughs. We also built all of these walls and walled in all of that uh, that food there. Yet there's just an enormous amount of stuff you can get done. Never mind the amount of people we recruited. Oh my god, we recruited such an enormous amount of people. It's just uh, weird and it's hard to explain how you feel like you're sort of running but running in place because you never feel like you're moving forward fast enough or, well, in every episode. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Thank you.